What's up YouTube, it's R32 Epiphany. We're back this week for Zer location. And he is located on Nessus Watcher's Grave. So yeah, we'll jump on our Warlock first. Cover all the exotics, the armor, and the weapons. So yeah, let's hop right into it. Alright, so we're here on our Warlock. And let's jump right into it. So first up, we have Prometheus Lens. An OG weapon for sure. Um, has a nice catalyst. I know that it's for sure. I can't really see it right now, but it's not a bad weapon. Then we got Shinobu's Vow and 61 over stat roll. This one's not too bad unless you don't have them, but pick them up. Then we have Strongholds. Not bad. The, this has good stat roll, like an overall stat roll, but definitely not good to pick up. Then we have Promethe Prometheum Spurs. I've not used these too much. Um, not the greatest roll, but uh, yeah, if you don't have these, pick them up. Now onto the weapons, we have Royal Chase. See, we got Thresh and Grave Robber. Eh, it's not really all that great. Then we have Vepukula, uh, Harmony Outlaw, not the greatest. We're gonna pass on that. Then we have a Legal Action with a Range, Alloy of Flared, Hammered, Healing Up, and Ramp. This is actually a decent roll, so I'd pick that up for PvP for any new players that don't have it. There's definitely other better frames like, um, I can't think of them right now, but there's definitely better frames to get out there. I can't think of them right now. Then we have Without Remorse, Small Boar, Saw Mag, Stuff Roll. This is not the craziest roll for PvP, but it's definitely a decent pickup. Then we have Path of Least Resistance. Tap and hip fire, and we got pass on that one. Oh wait, threaded needle, killing wind, demo, demo liquid. Only if it didn't have killing wind on it, I feel like it'd be much better. But it's not a bad roll for PvP either, honestly. Uh, then we got memory interdict, danger zone, impulse. Zone. This is actually not too bad if you don't have a good grenade launcher yet. Um. But yeah, there's that. Alright, so now we're gonna get into the armor. 66 over several for the boots. This is not too bad, but also actually no, that's not that's a decent PV roll. And then we got the helmet. Nice resilience and the strength. Maybe you want a resilience and strength build, maybe. 66 over several on the helmet. Um there's that one. And then we have six more over several more on the mobility and discipline. It's not a bad PvP piece. And then 67 over several. Uh, for me, I'd pass. Then we have Hawk Moon. Opening shot. Okay, okay. It's not crazy. It's not the best, but if you don't have it, be sure to pick it up. And now we're gonna move on to our hunter and see what the stats on the armor of that is. Let's Alrighty, so now we're here on our hunter. So let's see, we got ooh. Nice recovery and discipline. Ooh, this is actually not bad. I'd pick this up for sure. Then we have decent. Ooh, what? Bro, what? That's pretty good, dude. What? Not? Dude, that's. What? Yo. PvP. PvP. Obviously, not like Now, this one, I don't know about this one. Uh, maybe the. I mean, actually, it's. I mean, I don't think it'd be too bad, but. If you have better pieces and stuff, I mean, it's not bad. Then this one, the arms are not the greatest. But other than that, that's solid, bro. Pick up. I definitely pick up the helmet and the boots and uh, the chest piece for sure on the hunter. Like, dude, this, nice stats, dude. If you don't have artifice armor, especially, like for the new players, any new players that are watching this, um, be sure to pick those up. Those are nice rolls. Anybody that is, you know, plays Hunter as a new player and whatnot. Uh, but now we're gonna get on our last character, which is our Titan. See what the legend, or the yeah, the legendary armor and rolls he's got. So let's hop over there now. Alrighty, so now we're on our Titan. So first we got the gauntlets. Six four stat roll, nice resilience and nice strength. It's not the greatest. If you want a resilient strength build. There's that recovery intellect. This is actually a nice PvP too. 
most of it's PvP. Sorry, PV players. Like most of it does seem to be. I mean, I guess you can make a recovery into like build or something like that, but necessarily you don't need them because you'll get it back pretty fast. But that's pretty nice. I pick it up on the Titan. The chest piece is nice. Six three over style roll on the helmet. Not too good pass. And then six four over style roll on this. Also a pass. So. That is pretty much Zer's location. He's here again back on Nessus on Watch in Watcher's Grave. He's up on this tree. For those who don't know, when you spawn like over there or whatnot, you'll come over here to the tree and you'll be there. And yeah, pretty much that is it. That's Zer location for the week. This is R32 Epiphany. I'll catch you in the next one, Guardians. Stay safe.